I'm Kieran Thomas. I'm a product manager within the Teams engineering team. Today, I'm going to be talking about the staff check-ins app template, which is a app template that's um, mainly intended for use by frontline worker teams to be able to do check-ins with their company or their supervisor or their manager on a periodic basis. So, uh, we can uh, and just to remind you before we jump into the demo, what app templates are. So app templates are uh, custom company apps that you can pick up and install to your team's tenant. They are built and published uh, most, mostly by the team's engineering team, and they're meant to be ready to go low code, low configuration apps that uh, serve your purpose. But uh, the, this is open source code available on GitHub, so you can pick this up and use as you see fit. You can customize it, you can add features to it and so on. And if you look at the graph on the right, it's an, intended to be you know, easy to customize, but also quick to be able to deploy to your apps. And it kind of sits in between uh, starting from scratch and building your own custom applications or using uh, an app from the store that's uh, a live service. And just to remind you what the benefits are, there's uh, almost no coding and very little configuration required to start using these apps. They're, uh, like I mentioned, customizable. You can change the name of it. You can uh, rebrand it, add features to it. It's very easy to do. There's uh, good privacy and security that comes along with it. And once you deploy it, uh, you, uh, we usually built in some of the telemetry so that you can look at usage and see things like that. So now a little bit about uh, staff check-ins itself. So this is a, a Power Apps-based app template that uh, allows uh, either a, a frontline worker team uh, to work with um, a supervisor team and an admin team to um, be able to set up new check-ins and uh, uh, collaborate on teams around those check-ins. So examples are situations where, uh, like a retail store where you'd like uh, your a team to be able to take photographs of, uh, say, the supermarket aisles and post that so another example of uh, where you use the staff check-ins is uh, think of a construction company. Maybe you have your workers remotely working in a site and you'd like them to check in either some, say, protective equipment or uh, some uh, other inspection on a periodic basis. You can set up this check-in uh, to happen, say, every day or once a week or certain days of the week. And you can uh, have that and take a photo based on a location and so on. So here's a preview of the, uh, of what it's going to look like before we jump right in to the demo. Uh, we've um, intended this to be work on both mobile and um, and your desktop Teams client. So the supervisor would set up the staff check-in uh, on their desktop Teams directly from Teams without having to go anywhere else. And once they set that check-in up, it'll uh, send a reminder to the team to uh, do their check-ins, whether it's scheduled or ad hoc and it'll happen on an ongoing basis. With that being said, let's jump into the demo itself. So first thing I wanna show you is uh, where you can grab the app template. So this is the app template page. And just to pretend like I'm a real person going to pick this up for the first time, I click on the staff check-ins on the right. I can go to GitHub, see all the instructions here. And if I click on deployment guide, it'll take me to the full instructions over how to set this up and install it. So let's pretend I've gone through all of this and in install it onto my um, Teams client here. And I'm, uh, let's pretend that I'm part of a, con a Contoso construction company. And what I need to do is to set up a new check-in for my employees uh, at a particular site where I've also set up the team for that. So I'm going to go into the admin app for the chat staff check-ins. Let's give it a second to load. And yeah, by default, it, it loads the reports page, which gives me the uh, different check-ins that are there on a daily basis. And if I click the manage button, it takes me to all the check-ins that are there. So you can see some of the check-ins are scheduled. Um, we can see the titles here, the, uh, the team that's supposed to check in, how often, whether it's uh, scheduled or ad hoc, 
which days and what time, and I can also adjust these. And if I click on that, I can also make changes to it. Let's go ahead and create a new one. And let's say that I'd like the employees at the site to do um, a time card check. And this is what I'm going to use to uh, check in and check my in, out my employees as they come to the site. Let's pretend that this is going to be an ad hoc one that they can come in and leave depending on uh, another system. Let's give some instructions. Please uh, check out um, when during your shifts. Let's just put it that way. Cool. We have that set up too. Let's hit the create button. Awesome. So we got the confirmation message that the check-in was created. Let's confirm everything here. Uh, the team is, looks right. Uh, our um, title looks right. We have the ad hoc uh, part uh, put in there. And yeah, now we're ready to go. If I if I have like many of these check-ins, you can use, use the search bar to also uh, search for these and find out more about um, uh, and find out the check-in that you're looking for. So now let's uh, kind of switch uh, gears and let's pretend that I'm one of the employees. I have um, you know, my mobile device and I'm uh, um, based out of, I'm, and I have access to this team. I'm one of the people here. And now I see that this uh, check-in was created uh, right here. And the flow has sent a, a card with an explanation of what the check-in is, what my supervisor just did. Is asking me to check in and check out during the sh shifts. Uh, gives you some details about that. And I can also have had some questions about this particular uh, check-in. I can actually collaborate with my team members who are also part of this group, or I can uh, tag my manager and ask questions here. Or if uh, everything looks good to me, I can just uh, either click the check-in button here or go in directly into the app and do it that way. So let's pretend that I'm going to click this uh, on my mobile device. And what it'll do is it'll open up the Power Apps staff check-in. So that's why this looks like it's a mobile screen. So I'm directly on my mobile device. It by defaults to the right team because it, uh, it has uh, that check-in button. The one I click matches up with this team, gives it the title, and then it gives me uh, automatically captures the location that I'm doing the check-in from based on my, uh, if it's a mobile device using the GPS or it uh, does that also based on your IP. And it also requires you to take a, a photo. And so let's pretend that I capture a photo of uh, me or say it's a, if it's an inspection, you can take a photo of the equipment, something like that. And uh, let's just say something like starting my shift. And if I hit the send second, It'll give me a little thinking and confirm it. Cool. So now I'm done with my first check-in. I can close out of it here. Go back to uh, now. Let's uh, switch gears. Let's pretend that I'm the supervisor. I'm looking at my uh, list of check-ins here. So let's go back to our check-ins app. Give it a second to load. And now you can see under the reports, um, there's a uh, and the list uh, of check-ins right here. If I click into the check-in that I'm interested in, I can look into the details. Awesome. So now this gives me a, a full set of details of all the different check-ins. So you can see that this was an ad hoc one, how many people have checked in so far, how many members are in the team that need to check in. You can see that my name, what time I did, the location. I can also click into it and see the details. So you can see my notes and whatever photograph I took will also show up here. So as you can imagine, as more and more team members check into this, um, it'll show up in this list and you can search for it. And if there are check-ins that happen over multiple days, you can filter and see the past check-ins and so on. So you can think of using this app template in many different frontline worker scenarios. It doesn't necessarily have to be restricted in any way to um, any particular industry. We've gotten uh, a lot of our customers across industries interested in using this. Uh, so please check it out. If you'd like to learn more about how this is built, uh, look at the documentation. We have a solution overview that gives you an overview of how this was built, what components were used. 
And yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us through the issues. Um, but yeah, hope hope this um, hope you like this demo. Excellent, thank you, Kieran. There's one quick question: Where does the data beside? So where is the data on this kind, this particular solution? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, this data uh, by default is uh, backed by SharePoint lists. You can obviously customize it to use any data source you'd like. If you'd like to use uh, CDS or uh, a full-fledged Azure database, you can back it up by anything. But by default, out of the box, it works with SharePoint. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, Kiran. Really, those are really great templates. And, and, and we talked about it at some point that what is the right name for these templates inside of Microsoft? Because calling them app templates might be mis misleading, but aren't they really? They are app templates. They're actually ready for our ISVs and customers to take in use in production. So they are ready to go app templates in production. So really, really cool stuff. Um, and for anybody in this call who's looking into like, okay, so I need to find a sample. How do I do X and Y and Z for Microsoft Teams development? These app templates are really, really great way of, of uh, finding a great sample. And there is actually a really great apps uh, Teams sample gallery available, which also includes uh, these uh, these app templates. So if you're looking into any any Microsoft Teams samples, take advantage of that Teams app gallery. Really great stuff as well. Thank you, Kiran, on that one. Mm -hmm.